I found this planked board at Hobby Lobby for $4.99. It's 28 by 13, and I'm going to be using Roy Cycles tissue paper in the Fall Project B. I'm going to find the center and put tape on either side. And this is what Fall Project B looks like. I'm going to be using Wise Owl White Primer. And I'm just going to be putting this on in the center of each tape that I marked off. And this is just a section that will fit my tissue paper. I'm going to allow it to dry and remove the tape. Once dry, I'm going to have my Wise Owl 1 hour enamel in the 4 ounce container and my 2 inch angled premium Wise Owl brush. Today I'm going to be using the side that has the um, cow with the flowered hat. I'm going to cut that off of my paper and save the rest for another project. Now me putting this white background is just making my image bright and it's pulling out all the colors and it's just going to make it look much better having this white background. So now I'm going to put a generous amount of my one hour enamel clear with my two inch angled premium Wise Owl brush. And I'm going to do this in sections. I'm going to use saran wrap and this is just going to allow a barrier for my brayer. And my brayer I'm going to make sure that I hit every part of this image so I know that it adhered. This is not going to be perfect and you don't want to spend too much time overworking this. So you can see I still have a few wrinkles but I know that as this dries it's going to shrink and a lot of those wrinkles are going to come out. So again, I'm applying a generous amount of the One Hour Enamel Clear, laying my paper down, putting on my saran wrap, and the brayer is so that I make sure that every part of this image is um, making contact with my board. You are going to see a lot of wrinkles come out doing this, but you're going to notice that there will be a few. But you don't want to overwork it and have your saran wrap stick to your image. Now I'm going to cover it with one hour enamel clear on top and allow it to dry. I found this stencil at Studio R12. It says be still and know that I am God. But I'm going to put the be still at the top. I'm using a very little bit of tape. I don't want to really get this on my image as I don't want to tear it off. But I just need something to hold it there. Using my black Wise Owl paint and a foam dabber. The key is using very little paint. So I'm putting some paint on my dabber, dabbing it off, and then going over my stencil. I can always go back with an art brush, so I'd rather do a light covering than, you know, full coverage. So now I'm taking my art brush and I'm going over any place that needs a brighten of the black and I'm connecting my letters with a very small art brush. Now this board was 13 inches wide. I wish it was 14 inches. Here's the beast still. And the second portion of this stencil and know that I am God kind of just fit. So I decided to do the and first, which is the first letter and be still and know that I am God, remove the stencil, dry it, and then kind of scoop my stencil over so I could fix, fit, fit the entire sentence, excuse me. So now again, using very little black and just doing my dabber and going back, back with an art brush, letting that dry and then going back in with the scripture um, of the Psalms 4610. I'm going to allow that to dry. I found this trim at Lowe's. I did have to um, cut it the 13 inches on my jigsaw. And it just has a little pretty detail on it. And I'm taking my General Finishes Gel Stain and the Antique Walnut 
and using a foam dabber to cover this in stain. It's ap apply and then you wipe it back. So it's wipe on, wipe off. And then I'm going to allow that to dry. Once dry, I'm going to cover it with my Wise Owl one hour enamel clear to give it a top coat and allow that to dry. Now I'm going to go back to my board and do a whole covering of the one hour enamel clear so that it can cover my stencils so I can be sure that that is um, sealed. Going back to my trim, this is now dry. I'm applying it with Wise Owl, Snow Owl, and using a baby wipe, I'm applying it and wiping it back. And you can see I'm leaving all that nice white paint and all those crevices and it's pulling out the design. Very easy, wipe on and then take a baby wipe and wipe it back. And then I'm gonna allow that to dry. Now I'm gonna go back to my board and this is where my trim is gonna go at the end of my tissue paper. And I kind of felt like I wanted to um, pull it all together and add just a little mandarina in my trim. Um, I did not do full coverage. I just kind of put it in some of the crevices and I did wipe that back as well. I just wanted a tinge of the orange. I just felt like it was gonna kind of complement my tissue paper. So now that that's dry, I'm gonna take some Elmer's glue, Elmer's wood glue, and a little bit of hot glue and place down my trim. I'm gonna do that to the bottom trim and the top trim. And now I've pulled together this beautiful sign that says, Be still and know that I am God. I really hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. You can now watch all our videos at chalkitupfancy.com. For any paint products, tissue paper transfers, or mesh stencils, chalkitupfancy.com. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.